السلام علیکم مائی نیم از محمد فرینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل پریزنٹیشن اسکلس ٹوڈے آئی بی ٹیچنگ یو ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ اے کلاؤڈ اینڈ ڈرین اینیمیشن ان پاور پوائنٹ ود آؤٹ فردر ڈو لیٹ اس اسٹارٹ آر ٹیوٹوریل ٹو کریٹ دس اینیمیشن وی ووڈ نیڈ اے لائن ول ٹیک اے لائن فرام دی آٹو شیپ گیلری ول کلک آن دس لائن اینڈ دین کلک آن دا سلائڈ ول ہیو ٹو لائن دس ایز پر دا گائڈ that's available in the slide just hold the shift key and drag this hold the shift key drag this until the end of the slide in the bottom so this is a straight line we need to increase its thickness we'll go to this uh, weight option and we'll choose uh, four and off points of width and then we'll change the color of this line and then again we'll go here and we'll choose this option square dots and again uh, we'll right click on this line and we'll go to format shapes and this format shapes we need to select this cap type as round so now this will look as the drops of rain falling from the above so this is this line is ready uh, for the for the animation we just need to duplicate this uh, we'll we'll click on control d align it properly like this and then we'll keep uh, duplicating it we'll we need another another 12 lines like this to create this animation well make them by clicking on control d 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 is this much is sufficient i guess we'll click on control a select all and then we'll click on control g and group them and then i'll zoom it out the slide will make it uh, 33% and then we'll click on that uh, these lines and click on control d and then we'll drag and drop it above the shape now we'll choose both the uh, shapes and go to shape format and we'll align them align center and then we'll select all by clicking on control a and we'll group them and now we need to animate this shape we'll go to animation go to add animation and we'll click on this motion path line we'll hold on uh, the shift key and uh, drag and drop this dot until the end of this slide at the bottom and then we'll open the animation pane we'll go to animation settings effect options we'll remove smooth start and smooth end go to timing option we'll make it start with previous we'll make it the give it a, the duration of 5 seconds and then we'll make it repeat until end of slide and then we'll click on okay then we would need another two copies of this uh, shape we'll click on control d make a copy like this and then we'll click on control d and make another copy and drag and drop it here we'll select all and then we'll go to format shape align we'll make it align to slide and then we'll uh, we'll make, we'll align them to bottom they are all aligned in the to the bottom i'll select align selected objects and then i'll distribute them horizontally i need to align it again once again then we select all align distribute horizontally then again go to align make it align to slide and then align bottom so this is um, accurate in my opinion we'll go here and make it uh, fit slide to current window it's looking fine for me if you want you can you can do a bit of adjustments like this then again click on control a go to shape format align align to selected objects choose that option and then distribute it horizontally now it's looking fine and now we need to add this uh, mask over here we'll take this uh, rectangular shape we'll click here drag until the end of the slide towards the right and then i'll give it uh, the height of 2.3 inches and i'll go to format shape i'll remove the outline and i'll make it uh, i'll give it a fill color of white and then i'll go to paint 3d and here in 3d library i'll choose cloud i'll change its color to blue light blue i'll copy this by clicking on control c and then paste it in powerpoint we'll drag and drop it here and now we need to animate this 3d cloud we'll go to add animation and we'll choose emphasis grow and shrink 
animation. Now we'll double click on this animation and we'll change this to 110% and then we'll go to timing option. We'll make it start with previous and we'll give it a duration of one second and we'll make it repeat until end of slide and then we'll uh, make a, a duplicate of this by clicking on Ctrl D and then we'll place it here and again Ctrl D then we'll choose all these three objects and we'll go to 3D model align we'll distribute them horizontally and then we'll align them to bottom select this go to effect option we need to choose this auto reverse and then click on OK we'll go to slideshow and see how it's looking it's looking really good extremely beautiful friends if you like this video please share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel to see more of such videos do take very good care of yourself by this i'll be signing off thank you